Hello, I'm Cedric Lilly with Watch Dogs Dads of Great Students. Hello, my name is Darwin Christopher Robinson. Welcome to Dads of Destiny. The annual Dads of Destiny conference includes sessions on health and wellness, mentoring, and how men can provide support needed inside and out of the classroom. The annual conference is an outgrowth of the National Watchdogs Dads of Great Students program, begun seven years ago in the Jackson Public School District. Hello, my name is Kajar Jackson. Welcome to Cardoza Middle School. Welcome to the Jim Nazy. Welcome to the Dads of Destiny Conference. We are about to begin this conference, but before a conference can begin, first things need to be in order. Nothing can be done until the colors are posted by our Forest Hill cadets. Color guard, halt. Welcome to the 8th Annual Dads of Destiny Conference. The theme for this event is Dads are the Gatekeepers of the Village. Welcome from Jackson Public Schools Board Secretary, Dr. George Schimmel. You, as a parent, are a quarterback of your child's education. And like a quarterback, you two have a team. We, the school district, are here to help you. But you call the plays. You help determine if your child gets to school on time. Does he or she have her homework ready? Is your child in the right classes to best challenge his or her mind? Is he or she getting to bed early enough? Does he or she engage in enriching extracurricular activities? Is he or she hanging out with the right crowd, the crowd that values learning and making a difference in the community? Do you instill in your child a desire to learn? Above all, do you communicate your love to your child? My dad died three years ago next month. I still feel the love he enveloped me in from the time I was born. Do the same for your child. We as educators play on your team, but you are the one who decides how we will get the ball down the field. Dads, granddads, male role models for Jackson Public Schools. I commend all of you tonight for being here to send the message that you are indeed not only a member of the village, you are in charge of the village, that you are totally in support of helping the village to raise the children of the village. The Jackson Public Schools is making a bold statement and taking a, a, a bold and courageous move. Um, it is such a need and necessity in our communities to work with our fathers, uh, to assist our mothers, and to build um, the environments and atmospheres for our children. Respect to an older person or a male figure because you find um, that if they don't respond or if they don't have a father to respect then they don't, oftentimes they don't respect men in the communities. We have to lead by example. If we don't set that example, then they're going to follow the wrong one. I feel honored today actually be standing up here about to introduce a great man. He has a program called Fathers Incorporated. It was created in 2004. The program is created actually to help fathers understand the system as in dealing with child support issues or dealing with just motivating your, just fathers or other father figures to come and participate inside the children's lives. When the Tear Won't Fall is one of his books, Gentle Warriors and his future publishing book that's about to come, they called him Adam. All the way from Brooklyn, New York. Mr. Kenneth Braswell. As we speak about dads tonight, we need to be mindful that each and every one of you have a destiny in your life. Your children have destinies, and you are in control, many of you, along with their mothers, 
in charge of how and how fast and how easily they will meet the destinies of their life. I want to commend um, you guys for working with Watch Dogs. And I also want to commend you for working in this field of responsible fatherhood because this field is expanding. We are now understanding that we have to do more than just narrow in and zero in on working with fathers. Um, we have to look at responsible fatherhood. We have to look at mentoring. Because I've heard that if every child who lives on this earth actually had their father who was in their household, that there would still be almost 20 million children without a positive male role model in their lives. Which means for those of you who are good fathers, and I know that there are good fathers in this audience, you're not doing enough. There are kids in our community that need mentors. You have less um, suspensions and less uh, chances for them to uh, get expelled if a male is involved because there's a level of respect that's taught in the home. The number one goal definitely is to take care of our children and to you know, be in their lives, be responsible, be held accountable even. We started this year with a theme that if better is possible, then good is not good enough. I want to encourage all of you to continue being the role model that you are in your respective communities and schools. The little things you do or say to a child is remembered forever when you say to your little boy, good job, son, or to your little daughter, way to go, I'm proud of you. These kind of small gestures go a long way with our children. To learn how to communicate with your kids and get involved with them in the schools and, 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 and provide a better way of living for them. Um, it does a lot of things for conflict resolutions and um, a lot of good things for dads to learn. Uh, we still can learn more. Men are absent. And there's nothing wrong with saying that. There's some good men in this auditorium. There's some good men in this audience. And you guys are doing some great things. Because at the end of the day, we're concerned about one thing, children. This work is about children. How do we equip our children and build environments and atmospheres so that our children can be the best they can be without harm, without danger? And we need to look at all of our children with the same kind of attitude. Get smart, not intrusive. That discrepancy can hurt you in your parenting because you haven't adjusted. And then the most important thing, your kid think they smarter than you. We need to find a way to bridge the middle. We got to bridge this thing now because there's some differences. The way we were raised, what our children expect, what our children are actually facing. Just get smart about teaching them the things that our parents taught us. And there's three barriers for men with regards to why we don't respond or why we don't have the ability to respond. The first one is that we don't know how. And men don't want to admit that. It's all right to say I didn't know. The second thing is overwhelming obstacles. We got so much stuff on our lives and so many things that are bearing us down that we can't even think straight. I was telling a superintendent about our programs in New York State. We've served over 4,500 non-custodial parents over the last three and a half years, and here are the demographics of these men. All of them had child support orders. 66% of them walked into our doors with incarcerated backgrounds. 85% of them walked into our doors unemployed, and each and every last one of them had an average child support of arrears of $14,000 and only 28% of them had a high school diploma. These are guys who are willing but not capable. There's a difference between the father who's willing and not capable and the one who's capable and not willing. The one who's capable and not willing, every child support enforcement law there is in this nation, they should be hit with the entire full brunt of it. Oh, this, this was an informative um, session that we had. Uh, not only uh, it, it encouraged the dads to be uh, more involved with the kids, but it also uh, gave you some information how you can be a more uh, productive role model with your kids. I want to encourage all of you to embrace every child in our community, make them feel comfortable and secure, and to know that they have you as their support.
conference is great. I think the sessions were great. I just think that uh, we need to take more time to really get out there and promote things like this in the communities and in, and, um, in the school districts and in the city and in the uh, community worldwide because um, that's the only way that we're going to be able to better ourselves and better our children. Gentlemen, men, fathers, uncles, cousins, caretakers, mentors, for years people have told you that you are something that you are not. And quite frankly, we don't need you which is why our young boys are abandoning our mothers and children today. It's why many of your fathers have abandoned you because they were told that they were something that they were not. I submit to you tonight, gentlemen, that you are eagles. And I challenge you to take the place of an eagle. Fly high amongst your, tri your obstacles, your struggles, because strong men struggle. It's not easy. A lot of times, you're not going to get no accolades for doing it. No one's going to pat you on the back. A lot of your comfort will come in the quietness of your own space. To look over at your child and say to your own self, well done. He's home. She's home. She's safe. She's amongst family under the roof of my house that I pay the bills for. They might have gotten on your nerves the last week, but you know what? They're still in my house safe. And no one may ever thank you for that. Hey, Daddy, job well done. Thank you for being there. I can remember all the things that you did, but all of those things don't matter. The only thing that mattered to me as a child is that you were there. I've only ever wanted to be one thing in my life. And that's a winner, a champion husband and a champion dad that raised champion children. And I submit to you tonight and challenge you and pray that when you walk out of this door tonight, that your children, when they see you the next time, will identify you as a champion. Thank you. This year's conference, we wanted to bring in something very special for the fathers. So we brought in Nick Wallace, executive chef at the Hilton Garden Inn, formerly known as the King Edward. I'm very excited about tonight. We're actually going to do just a basic garden salad. And we're going to do spaghetti and meatballs with a bolognese sauce with vermicelli pasta. And we're going to do a shortcake stack with strawberry glaze, all made from scratch here at Kadoji. We got a pork stir fry. We have some red and yellow bell peppers, some Vidalia onions. And we're actually going to add a little bit of Mississippi honey, Mississippi molasses. And we cook down a little bit of orange and ginger sauce that we're going to add and just toss it and give you that little subtle flavor. Orange and ginger sauce. We're going to add to this. pork stir fry. Just wanted to show the dads a little bit of uh, easy tricks they can do at home. Very clean, uh, very healthy for the kids as well. So I hope the dads enjoy it. The Dads for Destiny conference here at Ecodosia. Oh, we had a fantastic time at the conference. He, he was one of the speakers and he did a fantastic job. He did. Everybody got a different way of thinking, so it, it's good to get together, to get together and uh, uh, and come, you know, communicate about the differences that we have about the Jackson Public Schools or maybe the, the students and uh, find out better ways we can um, enhance what we got. Pro-fatherhood doesn't mean anti-motherhood, that at the end of the day we are concerned about our children and in doing so we want to make sure that our children have the availability to both parents, both their mothers and their fathers. It's very important for the father to be part of that, you know, to, to, be, to create the idea. During the Dads of Destiny conference, door prizes and other giveaways were provided by these fine sponsors.
It was a wonderful program. It was a great show. It was a nice speaker. Dr. Braswell is one of a kind. Um, I learned a lot from it. It was very interesting. I think they ought to have more sessions uh, such as this. Uh, it, it's unfortunate we, we have we have this one, uh, but I think if, if you have more sessions such as this for the community and, and get the word out, uh, encourage not only community uh, people, fathers, and mothers, people within the community, business partners as well, so you can have a, a holistic uh, way of helping our kids so they can be productive in, in the future. I'm just honored that I was here to take part in it tonight and to lend, you know, what I thought was a word that people would be able to walk away with um, to build a better community.